Welcome to Learn Sibelius 6 in one hour. You can download a PDF of the Eroica score that we'll copy in this course from my website, www.composerhome.com. If you want, you can also download catch-up files, which allow you to jump straight into any individual lesson. And now there's an ebook for you to download to your PC, Mac, or mobile device from www.amazon.com. Just search for Learn Sibelius. Sibelius has some cool features which will actually help you in the creative process when you're composing directly into it. One of these is called the Ideas Hub. So let's open up the Ideas Hub. It's this little button with a light bulb on it in the menu, or you can go to Window and then Ideas. And this is the Ideas Hub now. It's opened up here on the left. Inside it you can see lots of ready-made ideas. In fact, there are over a thousand in there. And you can search for particular ideas in here just by typing something in and pressing enter or return. When you find an idea you like the look of, you can click and hold on it, and after the sounds have loaded up, it'll play back. So there's a drum kit. I choose drum beats because I always find them quite hard to write myself, so I like borrowing ones from the Ideas Hub. Now although you may not use these ideas in the Ideas Hub in your own compositions, of course they can be very useful as starting points. But the Ideas Hub can also be used uh, more interactively in the compositional and the arranging process. I'm going to change the option at the top from All to Score. And what that means is it's just going to show ideas that are in this current score, not ones that came in that library of several thousand ideas that comes with Sibelius. I'm going to delete my search term to make sure that everything will show. And then I'm going to pretend that I'm Beethoven. So let's think what my best idea is at the start. It's probably that theme in the cello which you gets heard again and again as Beethoven develops it throughout the symphony. So I'm going to highlight you know, the first bit of that main theme. And then I'm going to either press the Capture Idea button or I can type Shift and I. That's the shortcut. And you can see that that idea has immediately jumped straight into the Ideas Hub. Now I'll add a couple more ideas just to populate it a little bit. I'll add this little answering phrase from the violins. And you can actually make ideas which are multiple instruments and multiple bars, as many instruments or bars as you like. So I'll include that whole chord in the strings as its own idea. You can even make an idea out of just a few little musical elements, like this sforzando diminuendoing to piano. But there's even more you can use the Ideas Hub for. You could use it, for instance, to get students to analyse an existing work. You can also use it as a notepad. Here you can see I'm highlighting four empty bars in the flute, and I've captured those with Capture Idea. Now I double-click on them, I can actually go into that idea and use that as a notepad, sketch some quick ideas. When I'm finished, I just type Save, close that window, and you can see, if I click and hold, that that idea is ready to use again. Later on I'll show you how to put it into the score. You might also use the Ideas Hub if you're making a big cut or a big change to a score and you're a little bit worried about the process. So let's say I was going to cut this out of Beethoven's score. What I might do first is make an idea, and then I probably want some way of labelling that if I decided it's a catastrophe and I need that again later. So I click the Edit Idea Info button, and that allows me to give it a name. I'm going to call it the Idea I Cut Out, and I'll give it a colour that represents being cut out, like red. Click OK, and now you can see that idea has the name and rather garish red colour in the Ideas Hub. Let's give another idea a colour, perhaps something a little bit more subtle this time. There we go. And so you can colour code and tag and name your ideas and search them later on. So the Ideas Hub is very useful. First, as a place that you can use just to get quick ideas for things like drum beats or particular kinds of riffs. You can use it for your own ideas open up individual ideas, edit them yourself. And when you've finished working on your ideas, of course, you need to um, get them back into your score. So how do you do that? Well, the simple process for getting it back into your score, the quickest way, is to click on the idea in the Ideas Hub, then click on the bar you'd like to paste it into, and click the Paste Idea button at the bottom of the Ideas Hub.
but you can also just use normal copy and paste as you would uh, normally if you were copying from one part of the score to the other.